the intervention of God. The incomprehensible is going to happen. God himself will speak to people in a manner that will cause fear and horror. Soon the time will be present, for mankind cannot expect consideration anymore since it is completely devoid of any love. It will itself cause to start the ball rolling, it draws itself the intervention near, it continuously violates against the commandments of God, against the commandment of love for God and the love for the neighbor. And without consideration, it carries out actions that are satanic and are bound to lead to one's ruin unless God intervenes and, by doing so, yet saves souls who find their way to him in distress. And this is the sign of the time God has proclaimed long ago, a hot, bitter fight will proceed at whose end God determines because he wants to make himself and his power recognizable. He, himself, terminates the fight, yet differently than people expect. By means of his intervention, that is also of decisive importance for the whole world, he leads the world happenings into other tracks and people will have to see they are powerless and a higher power conducts the world happenings, and they have to submit to this one. The misery, caused by human will that was unbearable for many already, will be severe, but now they will have to struggle with measures of objectionable nature that God himself sends their way, and they cannot revolt against it because they cannot call on somebody to give account for it. But the behavior of man prior to that cannot be called human any more and thus God shows his power to them. Where man before wanted to prove its power and proceed with all atrocity against their neighbors, the God shows himself in his action, and towards him all are weak and powerless and their shameful raging falls back unto them who, without mercy, want to bring nothing but destruction simply because they feel powerful. It is a chaos that cannot be depicted any worse when people let their feelings of hate and vengeance show, and this will of destruction means a disintegrating of that which the Lord God has created before it has reached its destination. A steady destructive urge is typical to mankind of the present time and this is a sign they are enslaved to the power that tries to destroy everything in order to prevent the spiritual within to draw closer to God. Man is not aware of the terrible consequences of a forceful destroying of created things, be it human, animal or solid matter, as to how the immature spiritual within rages and causes havoc and what turmoil this signifies in the spiritual world. The souls of humans are plagued and are detrimentally affected and even the believers feel the influence and are disheartened and discouraged and a mighty will has to put a stop to it for the spiritual sake that endeavors to get near God and now is about to be pushed away by the opponent of God by means of his compliant servants on earth. And that's why, immediately after the implementation of a plan that will exceed everything in regard to dreadfulness thought up by man so far, God will let his voice sound. There's only a little time left. First a horrible event has to take place so that the whole world pays attention and the better hears the voice of God. There are many victims as yet who'll have to buy it, that is, to give their lives for a dishonest cause so that people who are in need of a bright insight pay heed, for they all contribute to the chaos and thus are also part of the blame, unless they recognize their wrong and turn away from it. The divine voice is continuously reminding and warning, it keeps pointing everyone to the wrong but it also requires that attention be paid to it or else it will sound loud and ringing and be a terror to all and pronounce a judgment according to right and justness. For the blame is universal and only those who detest the behavior of mankind and want to belong to God are to be acquitted for they recognize the wrong and fear the wrath of God to strike the evildoers and the hour will come suddenly and unexpectedly. 
for it is the last great favor prior to the end for the purpose of converting anyone not walking along carelessly but recognizing God in the natural happening, which is inevitable according to the will of God. Amen.